Hi gamers, welcome to Zulu's Board Game Cafe. My name is MC Squared and today we're going to be doing an unboxing video for Zombicide 2nd Edition. This is the Zombicide 2nd Edition Kickstarter Edition. So in addition to the core game, this box is also going to have all the fun stretch goals and extra stuff that comes along with it. I've been very excited about this one. The original Zombicide was one of my all-time favorite cooperative tabletop games. So I'm really excited to crack into this and get a look at all of the changes and all the fun new stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, nice. We're going to start by go ahead and cracking in this outer package. Always the best part. The anticipation. I'm excited about all the new stuff that we're going to see. Oh, there we go. There's the bright, colorful cartoon zombie goodness that we expect from the folks at Guillotine Games and Simon. Let's get some of this styrofoam out of the way so we can get a better look at that. There we go. Oh my goodness, so much. What do we want to start with? Okay, so let's go ahead and get right into it. First thing we see over here is Mike. Is this the core box? Let's, no, this is the reboot box. So this is the Zombicide Second Edition reboot box. My first guess is that this is going to contain all the stuff for converting the original Zombicide into Second Edition. It probably has some of the stretch goals and Kickstarter stuff into it. We'll get a better look at everything here in a second. Put that back here. So now that's not the core box. That means that this one is the core box. There it is. There's the Zombicide Second Edition. Core game. See some of the iconic characters on there. We've got Wanda, and Amy, and Doug, and two characters with their backs to us who I'm not sure who they are. Maybe we'll take a look, closer look once we've got this one open. We've got next up, one of the expansions, Washington ZC campaign expansion. So that means we're going to have some actual campaign play going on where games lead into each other. I don't know if it's going to be an actual legacy game or not where like things permanently change. We'll take a closer look as we do that. Let's see. Then, one the last, we have the presidential box, one of the Kickstarter stretch goals. Uh, six survivor miniatures. So these are all playable characters based on uh, past presidents that we've had. So this will certainly be interesting and dynamic and a talking point for lots of people. Open that one up in a minute. And then the last thing, and here's one of the ones I'm really excited about, is stuff for the Zombicide Chronicles role-playing game. See, this looks like Stories and Outbreak. This is going to be some of the missions that you play for your Zombicide Chronicles role-playing game, I guess. Here is the core role-playing game. So this is going to be all the rules for how to do Zombicide as a role-playing game. I have no idea if it's going to use the same core game mechanics or what that's going to be about. I might do a thing on this later, uh, depending on how many copies we get and if we think it's something that uh, y'all will be interested in. And the next, this is the Game Master Starter Kit. Looks like it's going to be all the stuff for GMing games of Zombicide, the role-playing game. So... That all looks great. So that's everything from the big box. So we'll go ahead and get zoomed in. We'll go ahead and start with the core game box and see what's in the little ones. Okay, so we're going to go ahead now and crack in to the second edition core box. Carefully pull the shrink off of this. All right. There we go. A little bit less glare now. In front of that. The excitement. Top. Free Simon content with QR code. Scan that later, see if that's valid. Rules and missions. The new rule book. 
tells us everything about the new rules and stuff. That's less exciting than actually getting to see the fun plastic inside. So many layers to see my boxes. Let's take a look here. See that this is going to be lots of our miniatures, maybe tiles. Oh, okay, it's, it's all of it. So the first thing we have this is not new to Zombicide, but new to the core game. These are the character tiles. These were actually introduced in Zombicide Black Plague. These are a way to slot your character. We have all the character cards right here. Tell us the information about the characters. Let me get their powers. They're going to go into this. Your character card is going to go in right here. So you'll actually start at the bottom because that's a little bit easier to read without extra stuff. So this is going to track our experience. One of the things about Zombicide is as you gain experience, your heart rate goes up and apparently it attracts more zombies because the game actually increases in difficulty as soon as a player makes it into yellow XP, orange, and the one tiny little sliver of red down here at the end. Those also correspond to your character as your XP goes up. You get to choose extra powers. So we can see Amy's got some new options going on, but mostly the fun thing about this is these nice little red plastic trays. Very nice. These are very thick, very durable. It feels so much nicer about putting these than the old just single thin cardboard sheets that the original Zombicide character sheets were. Next up is dice. They're d6s, they're dice, they're nice. Straightforward. There are specialty Zombicide dice that I do not think I got with this Kickstarter because I have all of the original dice from the first Zombicide game, so I skipped out on that one. This looks like our item and zombie summoning deck. The cards that are going to spawn zombies uh, tell us what items get. It looks like there's some new information about cars here and how you use cars to hit zombies. Here we have colored pegs and discs. These are going to go. These are going to go onto our character miniatures here in a minute, and the pegs are going to go into this board. These are going to inform us of our character's hit points, extra pegs and what abilities that we've selected as we level up, as we were talking about that earlier. And then later we're going to get item cards. Those go into your hands right here and these all have a little ridge in them to keep everything nicely and in place. It's very nice. And then we have all of these beautiful, beautiful Simon miniatures. It looks like all of these orange ones up here at the top are our player characters. Since Amy's the character who's front and center, we'll go ahead and take a closer look at the Amy miniature. You can see that these have some incredible detail on them. She's in a fantastic pose right here. The katana, it's a very thin katana and is very straight. If you're a miniatures aficionado, you know that straight sword miniatures are a rarity so this is an exceptional piece of plastic molding right here oh there's some new characters here i don't recognize but the next one is doug the disgruntled businessman character of the franchise it's a pair of uzis had some trouble focusing on him but yeah we got him another great miniature all these excellent action poses A new character I don't recognize has a nice long gun a little bit of bending there on it but that's not a not that bad I think this is I think this is Josh the hoodie try and make sure we get good shots as many of these as possible there's another one who I don't know if you're one of the old characters, I'm doing my best to remember the names of the original six. And I've got like half of them. See, here's Wanda, the most probably iconic of the original. She's the roller skating dine-in waitress that carries a chainsaw around. So that's always something fantastic to be able to play as. She's also got one of the strongest 
powers in the original game where she can move extra spaces. So, certainly worth talking about. Uh, next, have all these characters. They'll gr they're great. I'll probably do some cutaways with them to show them in closer detail at the end here if we want to get closer looks. We're going to get through everything right now because there's a whole lot in this box to get through. Uh, next up is our runs of zombies. These are going to go a little bit quicker. Uh, runner zombies. You can tell they're running because they're in a running pose. Fast zombies. Walkers. Walking. They're your traditional Romero shambler zombie. And then, wow, there are four different abominations here. And that's really scary because the original Zombicide only came with one. That was because these things were supposed to be so scary that one of them on the table at a time was supposed to be something terrifying that your whole team had to run from. So the fact that there's four of them in this box means that there is the potential to have four of them on the table at the same time. And that, to me as a Zombicide player, is inherently frightening. Uh, our next page here looks like a lot more of the walker zombies. Oh, and some of the fatty zombies. Ooh, they really went all out with these, which is nice. In the original Zombicide, the fatty zombies, uh, you had some trouble differentiating because they weren't actually that much bigger than your walkers. But these, not only are they a slightly different color plastic now, they are also very definitively much larger. So these are going to be fun. All right. Let's put these back. Move on. Next box. Do we have anything else hiding? Oh, there we do have more hiding under here. We have tiles. Look at that. We have tiles. So the top one here, these looks like some terrain tiles. The ones on the outside are the noise tokens. You know what? Since this is the bottom of this box, we'll go ahead, cut this one open, take a look at what some of the new terrain looks like. This terrain is fun. See how well it meshes up. It does look very similar to the original Zombicide tiles. You can see on the back here, the road, the rooms all still very clearly delineated by walls and crosswalks, so we're not deviating much from the original operating system there. These are all different. These aren't just recasts of the original rooms, because I recognize every room in the original Zombicide. And while some of these are similar, like this one, like uh, is the exact shape of a previous Zombicide tile. The interior details of this layout are very different from the original details of that room. So that shows that they're putting a lot of effort into making this a unique experience and not just a revamp of something that they've done once before. Okay, that's the tiles. So go ahead, put this one aside for now, and we'll get started on the next box. Boot box. Uh, my assumption is that this is going to contain lots of stuff it's going to be involved in converting your first edition Zombicide stuff into second edition Zombicide. But that's, that's all kind of speculation on my part, so we'll see what we've got in here. It's a nice, better look at that, hopefully a little bit less glare. Right, the reboot rules. Oh, there's some. This is going to have a lot of my new specialty stuff in it. A lot of special zombies, special abominations. Oh, up here on the top, I'm already very excited. So I don't think this is what I thought it was at all. I think this is all of the, the Kickstarter stuff, and it's just in something called the reboot box. So we have some cards here. Looks like the top card is called Actual Cannibal which is a reference to one of the special abominations or zombies in this, is definitely a nod to actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf, that iconic piece of internet history from a few years ago. Here we have some of the new abominations, which, if you're a Zombicide fan, you already know, and if you, didn't, if you weren't a Zombicide fan and didn't know, you're about to find out. Zombicide loves 
to do tongue-in-cheek references to uh, pieces of iconic pop culture. The original game had tons of bonus characters that you could get at Kickstarters and conventions that were all riffs on characters from movies, uh, TV, literature, all sorts of crazy stuff. And some of them were really, really deep cuts. So I'm hoping we get to see some of that here today. First thing I've got here is some sort of boar, perhaps a man. No, this is a bear. No, it's a pig. It's some sort of man bear pig that we've got here. <laughs> Case in point. Um, this one is a man of some sort. Uh, he's very slender. Couldn't imagine what that is. Um, I got, I got nothing. Some sort of tentacled monster. Looks like something that would sleep for millions of years. And a wolf? Miniature's just a wolf. Assume he's some sort of chupacabra joke. And emotep. I guess. I guess that's emotep. Oh. So there's our new abominations. Now here are character cards. Lots of them. Lots and lots of not only character cards, but apparently also zombie character cards. So they brought this back, which was a feature where you could play as zombified versions of the characters. It's essentially the game's easy mode, because in Zombicide 1, it meant that your character had five hit points instead of two. So it was much easier to be in a risky position and still survive. Uh, so we've got all of these. You know what? I'll go ahead crack this open we were talking about how this game is full of these references fun pop culture stuff Let's see if we can find some of them because I bet in this 150 or so card stack we'll find a few Let's see hey Josh Doug Ned Phil C so these are some of the original versions of the characters this is art there was references to those uh, but here we go Here's some ones that you might recognize. Uh, Grinlock may or may not be a character from some Cartoon Network show. I can't speak to that. See, these are all the characters from the original core games. Not all of them were direct references. Some of them were subtle nods. We'll get into the more specific ones, I'm sure, here in just a moment. Uh, all the original characters, again, because they got re-released as hardcore characters. Ah. But here we go. Here's Chaz. Um, you may know some interesting facts about Chaz already. Uh, Dave. Dave you might recognize from some sort of show about the beginning of the universe. Or at least theories about the beginning of the universe. Um, that one's probably offensive now. But here he is. He's El Cholo. Uh, Maybe he's based on a Mexican, definitely not on a Mexican. Or his, the actor that portrays him, Danny Trejo, his character from movies where he wields machetes, since this character starts with two machetes. And so on and so forth. Uh, Nick, we have here, is definitely someone who does not va die very easy. He may in fact die hard. Uh, there is Troy, and there is his boomstick. You can see he starts with a sh sawed-off shotgun, and that just and that just keeps going, right? Like I could sit here all day and point out all of the hilarious jokes on those characters. So that is the conversion, because all of those characters and character models are from the original Zombicide, and are for people who have all that stuff, like me who are going to want to use it to upgrade all of their old content without buying all new miniatures, unless they've given me all new miniatures in here. I don't even, I don't know what this is. Is this all of the miniatures? Did we get brand new miniatures for all of those characters? How did they fit that in here? Oh, well we, on top we have lots of specialty zombies again. They're already falling all over the place. Because these molds are 
very particular, and I've turned the box upright once, so they're gonna fall out and be weird. But we have some hilarious new zombies. Uh, these weird. Oh, that's okay. That's a pile of zombies. That's like five zombies in one space doing something weird. Okay, don't know what that's about. We have a zombie pizza delivery person. Now, this is a little strange. I'm not sure what this is about because some of these zombies are multiple color molds. Like this iconic gray up here is what I'm used to for the regular walkers. And I'm not sure if these things are just supposed to be regular walkers or if they have some special power. In the original Zombicide, there was something called the VIP walkers, very, the very infected persons. And they had special bonuses for killing them. Ah, here is our actual cannibal. Shia LaBeouf. I guess he's Shia LaBeouf. He's just an actual cannibal. Is all we know about that particular model. Here's a Sasquatch. You know, a zombified Sasquatch. The rarest of all Sasquatches. Oh, here's Bat Boy. But Bat Boy looks like a zombie, which is tragic because I would have thought Bat Boy would have been here to save us. There's Bat Boy, all these specialty zombies. I don't have time to go over all of them. And oh my goodness, yeah, this. So this isn't enough to come up with all of those characters from that original pile. So that, I think, is only going to be for folks who've got all of those characters from the original Zombicide, its Kickstarter, the expansions, and all that. But what we do have here is an additional 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, additional 40 cards, which I assume are going to relate to these cards here. And these look like all of the new characters, or characters that have been revamped so heavily for second edition that they warranted getting new character cards and minis. And some of these are very exciting. So since this is the genuinely new content, we'll spend a little bit more time on this than we did before. Do the order of the cards match up in any way? Fortunately, it looks like they don't. So the top card is Andrea. What we'll do is we'll look for the ones that go with the miniatures and we'll do them in that order or any of them that I can spot the miniatures easily for so we're not spending too much time just poking around. But I'm already having a great time with this. So the first one here is Doria, which unfortunately I don't, I'm not sure what this particular reference is. I'm sure one of you, if one of you gets it and wants to leave that as a comment on this video, great, feel free to tell me because I'm gonna have a time getting some of these started. Uh, let's see, the next one that I do recognize, it looks like we have Grace who May not be somebody with a talk show, daytime talk show, turned zombie killer. Oh, here we go. Here is Her Royal Majesty, someone who's been in service recently, or in the news a lot, and is of course fantastically armed with a chain gun, which is, in addition to being hilarious in and of itself, uh, a slight nod to one of the original Zombicide characters, who is um, Angela Lansbury. There we go, took me a second. And it's Angela Lansbury with a flamethrower. So Queen Elizabeth with a chain gun goes very well side by side with that. Oh, uh, here's one that I think we'll enjoy. This is Hudson. And Hudson is protecting his cat, wearing his nice black suit with his very stylized beard and goatee with some heavy advanced weapons. Uh, now, honestly, it should still be a puppy, but I'll let this one slide because they've got to keep their, keep their distance. We have a, some kind of Terminator, more ones that I don't necessarily recognize. Johnny Law, you know, they gave us a spare Johnny Law card in one of the other boxes. I'm not sure what that's about, but him again. Let's go through all of these quickly. Lil Will, Liv, Lizzie, Logan, Luke, Mason, 
Mona. Phil. So we got Phil again. I wonder how many times they're just going to make Phil. Character he's a Walking Dead joke reference to didn't even survive as long as he has in this game. Pinky. Ooh, the Prime Minister. He'll go well with that presidential box that we looked at before. Queen. Some sort of Queen Bee. Smitty. Solana. Stylus. Victor. We're back at the top with Andrea. Bagby. Bam Byron. Big Devil. Billy. Run. Carol. Carter. Clarice. Clark. Dale. And then we're back around to Doria. There's just so many of these. Like I said, we can go through it all now. But it's nice to say, if you love obscure pop culture references and want to kill zombies with them, this is the game for you. Uh, but we'll go ahead and wrap up with this box for now, and then we'll go ahead and open ZC. will be the next one on the list. All right, we're on to the last big box. Washington ZC. See what's in this one. Now, this is all new stuff. So, imagine you're not going to have to listen to me rambling about all this stuff that's reprints since this is all new content. I'll probably get through it pretty quick because I'll just get excited, excited about it the first time, and then that'll be that. Okay. We've got here, have the rule book. Rules and missions for the campaign. Very cool. New type of tile. Let's see, what do we see there? Some sort of cone effect? Oh, it's a flashlight. I see it. Let me get this off because I'm sure the glare is super awful. Like, my lights are great for looking at stuff, but anything even slightly reflective is just an apocalypse. Okay. Get this closer here, you see the flashlight symbol. So that makes me think there's going to be something light related. There's a dial on here. Looks like a clock. So some sort of time feature. I assume this guy here is a timer uh, and then a, t a vehicle, but like a vehicle with a machine gun on it. So that's new and exciting. Uh, some new tiles. Looks like the inside of the White House. And then the front lawn, like a military base. Looks like those are the two particular settings, so we'll probably have to be breaking into this place and then rescuing somebody, securing it to be our home. Oh, character sheets. So this is going to be for role-playing game stuff. Character sheets, all of these various skills, some of which I recognize. Some of which I definitely don't. There's going to be a lot of new powers built into this Zombicide role-playing game. So that's going to be fun. These are all the same. Oh, notes. It says note number two. Where's... Abomination note. Note number three. Note number five. Two. Where's number one? I don't see this stuff. So I'm not going to open these just yet because... One, I don't want spoilers for me or for you because these might be some sort of campaign related thing where as the plot goes on, we get instructed to read the various note numbers. So we're just gonna leave those to be super secret for now. We are gonna go ahead and look at the characters for Washington ZC. See if we recognize anyone like we did with the other stuff. Let's see, Angelo, Anton, Ashley, a lot of A names in this. We don't stick with it apparently because we go to Justin, Mindy, and Tess. And nobody's jumping out at me reference wise, so I think we've got six all new characters for this particular game. We have more things that look like notes. Uh, let's see. Oh, read this objective card at 7 p.m. So that means, I assume that has something to do with our timer and the, those campaign rules. Small shop. Information about a maintenance building. A second note number five? I thought we already had note number five. One, six, three. That's ominous. Are they the same on both sides? They're not. 
So, this is a curiosity. Oh, one of them says WZCM5. One of them says WZCM8. So, that's a mystery that will unravel when we actually play the game. More items, more cards. Likely items, zombie spawns, all of that. Of course, since this is a campaign, we'll be using the no new zombies in here. Several characters and two president miniatures. Those, these look like some <coughs> generic president miniatures, but oh, there's also a new set of dice. So let me, I will finish prying this open. Overcome the very powerful plastic tape and just fling the character cards everywhere carelessly pick step up and whip it around simply new set of dice so the original zombicide dice had different types of symbols on them now it actually goes all the way up to a six so I think they're supposed to look like bullet holes, which is what the original Zombicide dice looked like. But honestly, I'm getting more of a flower vibe from these. Don't know how well you can see it. I want to make sure you get focused on that. You see? You agree with me? They look like tiny little flowers. Mm -hmm. And then the single side, uh, the one used to be a skull, a zombie skull, because ones are bad. But here we have... What looks like a broken stick of dynamite? Um, perhaps I... a flare? A bone breaking? I This could be any number of things. If you think you know what that is, let me know. I would love to know more. Um, and since we've got it out, we'll go ahead and take a closer look at what looks to be Jeff Bridges' character from the Iron Man film, Obadiah Stane? as the president? Sure, we could do that. President Obadiah Stane. And I don't have as good an immediate one-liner about the, the lady president, lady vice president. I don't know who's president and who's vice president. I'm just inferring, making assumptions. Uh, but these are the two new miniatures. We've got all of the player character miniatures, which also all look great just like the ones we saw before pull out one more because i can't ever resist showing these off and i'm just really hoping that they focus as well on the camera okay so that's the contents of washington zc next we're going to look at the president's uh the contents of the president's box and i think that will be all of the actual boxes awesome All right, here we are at the last actual box in our Zombicide unboxing, the smallest box, presidential box. This is one of the Kickstarter goals, and it features several past presidents as, I'm not sure what, as maybe playable characters, maybe as zombies, maybe as special rules presidents for the Washington ZC campaign. I don't know. We'll find out. In just a moment, I'm going to get a look at it without the horrible glare, or maybe with more horrible glare. Oh, oh here we go. All right, looks like it's going to be as characters. First, we'll go ahead and take at oh, oh, that stealthy high-grade plastic coming at me again. Not cutting myself open. Just a good plan to do. All right, we'll go ahead and just do a shot for shot of these. We also have the cards here. If I can manage to get these open without shredding them. This has been a common problem with zombicide packaging for me in the past. Okay, good. It's tight enough that the thumb could do it. All right, start with the one on top, President 45, 
holding a golden AK-47. Just a miniature correspondent. Like, we're not here to make political statements about anything right now. I'm just opening a board game. The board game may have its own political statements that it's trying to make, but I'm not, not doing those. All right, next is President 44. Talking his gun. See, then we have President 43. It's not the one in the cowboy hat that you might have expected. Honestly, kind of a chubby miniature compared to that human being in real life. President 42 is next, wielding a mighty golf club. Golf bag. Then we're going to jump back a few numbers, back to number 40. Of course, <clears throat> this one's going to be the Ronald Reagan. In the cowboy hat. And the last one, jumping back way further, of course, the ever iconic President 16, Abraham Lincoln who is moonlighting in this game from his vampire hunting to come kill zombies with us. So that'll be cool. All right, that's the last box. I think that's where we're gonna call it. The last few things are the books for the role-playing game. Well, I'm very excited to dive into those. That's gonna be a whole nother thing. If you would really like to see the stuff for the role-playing game, just go ahead and let us know. I'll happily open those up. We can do a thing about the role-playing games. I can talk about it with our DM, see if we want to do sessions for that. Uh, but thank you so much for watching this unboxing video. I know it was long. There's a lot to it. I love to talk about this game, so there was a whole lot going on. But there was a lot of cool stuff to see. And hopefully we'll get to do more of these in the future. If you like it, fantastic. Uh, my name was MC Squared, and we're doing this at Zulu's Board Game Cafe in Bothell, Washington where we are open to come play games, hang out, have a, have a meal. It's a great time, and we hopefully we'll see you soon. Thanks again. Bye.